What's up guys, it's Zed and today is the very first episode of my new Creative Club career mode. We're looking at ZM Cohetes here and that means Rockets in Spanish. So that obviously means that we're going to be in the La Liga this time around. I would have wanted to start from the second division in Spain but that league is dead as fuck. So we're going to be starting with La Liga and the team we're going to be replacing is definitely going to be the team with the lowest stats right now in the, in the La Liga and... It looks like it's Mallorca. I mean, there are a lot of teams with three and a half stars, but our rivals are going to be... I mean, I don't want it to be Barcelona or Real Madrid. That would be that would be too obvious. Atletico Madrid could be nice, but I think I, I think I'll, I'll make Villarreal our rivals because I don't want that obvious Real Madrid, um, Barcelona, Atletico Madrid rivalry. I want like something new, so I'm going to pick Villarreal as our rivals. Here's what our home kit looks like. It's a white shirt with navy blue horizontal stripes and... Navy blue shorts as well with um, gold colored stripes along the sides of the shirts and the shorts. Then the away kit, it's basically a navy blue all through with the vertical light blue stripes. As for the third kit, it's all black with gold stripes on the shoulders and on the sides of the shorts. And for the goalkeeper kit, it's really annoying that we really can't customize anything. We can only just pick a variant of colors and that is fucking stupid if you ask me but this is what it's going to be it's going to be a light blue kind of still following the team colors then for our crest we can't exactly customize it to what we want but this is the closest that i could get for what i imagined that our crest would look like so it has the blue black and gold i will i will try and change the crest for thumbnail purposes and stuff but for now this is what the crest looks like okay so this is what our stadium looks like it's called the estadio de this is what our stadium looks like. It's called the Estadio de Cohetes. It has a white framework with um, navy blue seats and the pitch pattern is quite irregular. We're going to be playing legendary four minutes. The negotiation strict net is on loose because I really can't deal with the strict thing. It's really annoying. I'm going to disable this and leave that on for now. That's all for customization and now we're going to be going straight into the actual career itself. And we're looking for a manager and who else should we have gotten other than Thomas Tuchel? He got sacked by Chelsea. And now he's going to be in our clubs. It's it's a it's a big step down for him, but he said that he wants to be the one to lead this club to glory, and that's exactly what I think he will do. I think I'm going to go for this one. It has the most amount of money, so 1.5 million pounds. That's not that much considering how much other big clubs have out there. Board objectives: We're supposed to get a streak of five games without defeat in home matches this season. I think that should be doable. Then we're to avoid relegation, reach the round of 16 of the Copa de España. Within three, seasons, within three seasons in La Liga Santander, qualify for a, for a European competition. Okay, so within three seasons, we should do that. Now that all that is done, what's next is to take a look at the squad. So we have Kai Van Dre from Netherlands. We have Iago Cuevas from Spain. Christian Neto for, from Spain. And the last goalkeeper in the squad is also Pablo Gutierrez from Spain. For our defense, we're starting with Yulen Cardenas from Spain. Jacob Stewart from United States. Iago Dominguez from Spain. Thomas Donovan from England. Levi Helvig from Norway, then Cesar Vidal from Spain as well. You know what? When they're from Spain, I'm just going to call their names. German Ramos, Cesar Flores, Alejandro Araujo from Brazil. Where well, we have two Germans in the team, German Ramos and German Lozano. Okay. Our last right back is Conan Zaracho from Argentina, and then our midfield: Adrian Torres, Santi Bustos, Calvin James from England, Batch from Nigeria. Alejandro Hurtado from Spain, Ander Maresca, Javier Varela, Jamie Sanz, I think that's how to pronounce it, Luka Kovacevic from Montenegro, that's that's odd. Then we have Thomas Alvarez from Spain as well, we, that's the third, that's the third German that we have in this team, and this one is from England, Aidan Kallenberg from Germany, Rise from Japan, Samuel Raymond from France, Jaco, ja, you know what, fuck that. Jacobi Ortiz from Spain, Jabi Cabrera from Spain as well, Fonseca from Portugal, Manuel Maresca from Spain, Mikel Rivera from Spain as well. So I'm just going to sort this by the highest rated players in the team and we have Fonseca and I'm going to do the development schedule for the players that I think would be in this team in the long run and then I'll be back when I'm done with all that. So I have thoroughly looked at the entire squad and this is what I have come up with. We have Kai Vandri in the post, we have Zaracho and Stewart as fullbacks. Helvig and Donovan as center backs. Then we have Batch and Calvin James as the two holding midfielders. Then we have three creative players. There is German Junior, Kallenberg, and Risse. 
and then we have Fonseca at the top of the field. I kind of have a problem with the training because I need to improve their match sharpness and I can't do that because the training drill, I can't do it because my controller shows, game shows two controllers connected to the, to the game and I can't control the one that is automatically assigned to the training. So if you guys know any way to fix that, please let me know so I'll be able to like increase the match sharpness of the players. And this episode is basically me introducing you guys to the team. We are going to play the friendly matches obviously and we are probably going to play just two out of three of them. Most likely this one against Nottingham Forest because they are the most known team in the lineup of teams that we have to play. We have a transfer offer for Yulen Cardenas and he's our second left back which means I'm most likely, I'm definitely not going to be selling him because Anything can just happen to Stewart and that's going to be the end. One of the younger players in the team is going out on loan and this is the the um, scenes for when a player is leaving the club in case you guys, in case any of you guys haven't seen it. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much the only cutting that they show for every single one of the players that leave the club. And that guy looks so much like Manny, what the fuck. And we have a transfer offer for Jabi Cabrera and he's our second striker right after Fonseca. And the thing is that I'm most likely not going to sell or buy any players in this in this episode because this is the first and we have like a bunch of players that we haven't even tried out yet. So I have to do all of that before I then decide to sell a player or buy a player or stuff like that. Our first match is going to be against Benevento. I have no idea where that team is from, but I created a second team which is basically which comprises of the lower rated players in the team and i'm going to sim this first match because i want the first match we played to be against um nottingham forest and it sucks that tuchel didn't get his get a win in his first match and here we are i have no idea how good this nottingham forest side is but looking at the rating of the players in our team i think that we should at least be able to give them a run for for their money on legendary i will be playing this match and i will be seeing exactly how well this team does and if i'm going to have to make any changes in the winter transfer window or if I'm just going to stick to the players that I have here. Well everyone is happy here at Old Trafford for the time being. I say that because the sun is shining brightly. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator and alongside Alright so our second match in preseason has kicked off and let's see exactly how this team is going to deal. I am not very good at defending a FIFA and the new controls and all in the new game it's a lot harder for me to, to defend so I mean it will be interesting to see what I can do actually. Wow! I swear to god I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that to happen at all. That, that keeper is so fucking shit. <laughs> what the fuck? I literally just tried my luck from there with Fonseca and well well he's the first person I'm scoring with in open play and well I mean it's only it's only natural that it's the striker that does that. Damn. Damn, what the fuck was that? Okay, so I really hate it when they just hold the ball. Oh my god. Fucking hell. I was gonna say, I really hate it when they hold the ball in that left corner there. And they, they always fucking do that. I always get so confused. Because, I mean, it's so hard to actually control the, the players. And when it's players that are this... Are not exactly that agile and stuff it's so freaking hard to actually move and shit well that was a really good interception and these guys are sliding like fucking maniacs what the hell okay and there's no way for us there and this could be an opportunity that nothing nothing comes from okay this is a good opportunity and he was straight at the fucking keeper i mean i i pretty much like aimed it at the far right corner but that was all that I was able to get well let's see what we can do with this corner and wow that was actually that was actually really close we still have a chance here though and let's see if nah it gets blocked well great great fucking great that was close the keeper was just able to touch it well that was a that was a that was a really good save I, what the fuck? Mm. 
I mean, of course, Lingard scores. They just came back from behind and scored us. And it, it was really annoying because we had the ball there and the defender decided to pass to who I didn't send him to pass to. And now they are leading us 2 1. But no matter, we should be able to equalize here. Not like that, though. I'm actually really fucking speechless right now because what was I supposed to do there? Because the, the defenders are not moving as well as I want them to. And these guys are just exploiting our, our entire defense. They're exploiting all the fucking space in our defense and there's nothing we can do. First half and they scored us three goals already. I wouldn't really blame the team though. I mean, I, I blame the team. What the fuck am I saying? Come on. Jesus. You can't even fucking score that. First half has shown me that this team needs a lot of work. I mean, we don't necessarily have to bring any players in, but they just need to actually work on themselves and train so hard. Their sharpness is fucked up, and this is exactly why I need that much sharpness, because without that, they're going to be doing like fucking on, this in the, on the pitch. So, I mean, second half, let's see what we are able to do. Hopefully, we can come from behind and get the win. What? How how does he even how does he even body? Uh, how the fuck does he even body two defenders like that? Those defenders are fucking strong, according to their stats. Oh well, I mean we have three goals to score. I just have to calm down. I just have to calm down here and think. Okay, that was good defending. And I mean there's a counter attack now, so let's hope that we can get something from this. Please. I mean that guy has already gone too fucking far. Ugh. There's really nothing we can do. Their passes are really slow, off target. And these guys are legit just outplaying us right now. I mean I can't lose this match 5-1. Five, five no way. I mean we scored first. We're doing so well in the first half. Okay so we have something of a chance right now. And I don't think this guy can go all the way. No he definitely can't. But... Yep, that got blocked as well. And the players are legit running away from the fucking ball. Please tell me you can. T tell me you guys score this. Tell me you score this. Tell me you score this. What the fuck? And finally, Jesus. Why the fuck are you celebrating? I, I need you guys. I need you guys to actually go all out right now. And do your fucking best to try and at least make this a less make this less of an embarrassing result. And of course, you pass like a fucking illiterate. Like we legit cannot hold the fucking ball. Like it's impossible. At least one more goal. Come on, one more goal. One more fucking goal. What the fuck are you guys doing? They have literally no ball control. They have literally no fucking ball control, and it's so fucking. So fucking annoying. 4 2 in the first half. In the first match, we were definitely not winning the preseason though. But I mean, I wouldn't say it was that bad. It was it, it was that fucking bad. What am I saying? It was that fucking bad. I mean, it's hard enough that this team isn't really all that. But I'm also distracted because I have to talk during the matches because I'm now using like a face cam and I have to talk in order for you guys to see my reaction and stuff during the match. And it gets so it gets so it gets so confusing and shit. And eventually I get used to it. So I'm, I'm not really saying that as, as an excuse. I just know that whoever that guy was, Araujo, to Rayo Vallecano. For our last match, we're stopping out towards for Lozano. Who, thank God this guy can actually play right back and left back. I didn't look at that before. So actually is definitely going to be so weak after this match. German and Rise, they are both tired. German is really young. He's like 16. So I'm, I'm going to like leave him out of the starting level for this match. I'm going to put who is faster between these two. Okay, Kovacevic is faster. So I will play Kovacevic and Lozano. Those are the only two changes I'm going to make in this starting eleven. And maybe I might put in Flores. Yeah, he looks like a player that I could put in. So yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. Our last match is going to be against Pisa. That's going to be the last match for this episode. This episode was us testing out the team. We started playing with a big team like Nottingham Forest. I mean, they are big compared to a starter club like our team it wasn't really a good match so let's see if we're actually going to be able to hold the ball hold these guys and fuck them up in this match so we're up against pisa and we are at anfield that's really interesting hopefully we can actually do a lot better than what we did in the last match i mean we should be able to we are rocking our home kit for the first time and what the fuck was that and that was that was that would have been so mad if he went in but that guy is left-footed and he yeah he 
I mean, it was a really good opportunity, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to blame on the fact that he was on his weaker side and he wasn't able to play that very well. So, other than that, that was a really, really good opportunity. And wow, please don't break that head, dude. I beg. That was really good defending. That was really fucking good defending from Lozano. And what did I did not pass backwards. I did not fucking pass backwards. That was a really, really good save from from Bandre. We're so lucky there. Obviously, I did not pass to him. Obviously. Anyway, we're still with the ball, so we could still work 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 with something. And that was that was that was my that was another really really good chance. And it just what the, what kind of control is that? They've lost it. Alright, that was that was really good. That was really good. Alright, we have the ball here. And this looks like a very effective challenge put in. We literally we, this guy literally cannot hold the ball to save their lives. They actually cannot hold the fucking ball to save their lives. Okay, so we have an opportunity before half time here and I mean we could probably score this if oh my oh my god oh my god hope I'm not the only one I sing this shit right now hope I'm not the only one that I sing this fucking shit right now why the fuck did he stop running god so this is so annoying this is so annoying this team is so fucking annoying that was the perfect chance at the end right there and it, it fell to Kallenberg who is left footed it fell to his right foot again and I can okay that's good thank you Finally, finally we score. Who's that? Lozano uh, Kovacevic. That's that's a really really good goal from him. Really good goal from from distance at that. The pass wasn't exactly what I wanted, but I mean he still got to the person, he still got to the target rather, and he was able to put that. I mean it was towards the keeper, but he just it was just too powerful for him to save it. All right, so I need us to be able to hold to hold the ball here. Yeah, not that, not like that. Okay. And that was that was so close. Okay, that was a that was a really good interception. And come on, thank you, thank you. That was a that was really really good play. That was really fucking good play. So that's two goals for for Fonseca in the preseason. It was it was a very good one too. And Rise did really well to be able to get the ball back to Fonseca for him to head into the goal. All right. So before I go on. Um, Zaracho is really tired, so I'm going to bring on, I'm going to bring in Stewart, and then let's see what Bustos can do. I'm I'm going to put him in for a batch. I think I think that's all I want to do. Oh, German, German is here, so uh, like he's he's really good. His dribbling is really good and he's really fast. So I think I could try and use him. I mean, we have a lot of momentum right now, so it's possible. <sighs> Who's running? Who's running? Please score it. Thank you. That was a really good turn and shoot for him. And yeah, that's our number 10, Kallenberg. Voting his first goal for the club. After two tries in this match. Two really, really good tries at that. And he has finally, has finally, he's finally able to score. That was a really good turn, to be honest. Because he actually fucked up the control, but he was able to like, save himself. Okay, that was good. And there should be, I mean, he should be, Okay, he's definitely not fast enough, but I'm going to give German here and what the fuck? That was close. That was so fucking close. I mean, if 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 he used his leg, he definitely would have gotten his first goal for the club there. All right, so we have major defending here to do. Please do not let them score it. Well, that's good, and okay. They started again. They started. They, they fucking started again. Jesus! Thank you for saving that. Okay, so he's free here, and he can probably outrun this guy, and take a shot on goal and hit the fucking post. Okay, so we just need to be able to defend this. And thank you, Vandre is actually doing really, really well. He's actually done so well in this match, and well. That's the end of the match. We did really well, in my opinion. 
although I mean the the team still has a a lot to learn and do because it's actually quite a young squad. I mean the fact that our sharpness is actually really really low, and I think that's another reason why they're not doing all that well because they're acting really sluggish and shit like that. So I mean if you guys know how to fix the double controller thing. Please let me know because I really, really, really need to work on the sharpness. All right, that was a really good win for the boys in this match. And I can't help but imagine if Nottingham Forest were able to defeat us like that with, with such a margin. There's a lot better teams in the La Liga, which means we have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of fighting to do to not get relegated this season. From that performance against Nottingham Forest, if this team doesn't get better, if the sharpness doesn't increase, if the way they play doesn't change, they're most likely going to be looking at relegation, but I'm going to try my best. Tuko rather is going to try his best to not let that happen. We're already in August and our first competitive match is going to be against Cadiz and that is going to be our first match in La Liga. That's going to be the first test for us in such a huge league. And then the, the most scary thing about next episode is this match right here. We are home against Atletico Madrid. I mean, we're going to try our best obviously to win that match. But if we do not, then um, you know it's quite understandable that Atletico Madrid is going to beat us. I'm going to try my best to not lose to them. So with all that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be dropping daily videos of this career mode on my channel. So you guys should definitely stay tuned for that. And let me know in the comment section, who do you guys think is going to be the best player in this team? Is it going to be Fonseca, German, because he's quite young and quite quite highly rated for a 16-year-old. We say, I mean, there there's a bunch of talent in this team and I really can't wait for three seasons, two seasons from now to see how good they will be. So um, let me guys know what you guys think. And once again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.